I mean, where is the lace? Where is it at? I don't know. If when y'all find it, y'all let me know. Hey y'all, so today we're working with Charmaine T hair, so let's get straight into this unboxing, y'all. So let's see what's inside. It says be bold, be beautiful, and be charmante. Period. Ooh, look at this, y'all. It comes with full wig care instructions. I love that it comes with those full wig care detailed instructions. Because that those are always so so helpful. And then we also have the unit as well as some really cute nail wraps, the edge brush and comb, some super cute lashes. Those are actually really, really cute. I love those. Wig caps and some cute little pins. Look how cute those are, super cute. And the main attraction here is this unit, which is in 28 inches, okay. Body wave, 28 inches. I love me a body wave wig. This right here is body wave and I just love the way it just waves up naturally and just has like this little natural look. Bomb. So like I said, this is the body wave in 28 whopping inches, y'all. I'm so excited. Ooh, and y'all, the lace on this wig looks so good. Like this looks like some really good quality lace. Oh, I can just tell the lace is gonna melt so nicely. Look at this lace, y'all. That's gonna melt so good. This is the unit. It's super, super long. Definitely true to length, you guys. It feels full. Ooh, I just love this already. I'm getting excited. And we got a full frontal up in here, y'all. A full frontal, like the whole thing. And the hairline on here looks amazing already. Even though I will be bleaching the knots, it's not super, super thick in the front, so that's gonna melt so pretty. And when I tell y'all I cannot wait to install this wig, I mean like I cannot wait to install this. Oh my God. It's just so soft and silky and it just feels so smooth and it feels full, y'all. And look at the length of it. I don't think y'all understand how long this is. It's going past my butt right now. Y'all, look at all this lace space. I'm about to have a ball with this wig, like, look at all this lace. Look how thin the lace is. First of all, I think this is the HD lace, y'all. Look at that melting into my hand. Oh. Child, hold on. I mean, where is the lace? Where is it at? I don't know. If When y'all find it, y'all let me know, okay? I mean, that's crazy. Girl, we about to have a time. Charmancy. Charmancy, Charmancy. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but we're gonna have a time. This is about to be so bomb, like, so bomb, the bomb.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I am going to bleach the knots of that unit off camera and pluck the hairline and then come back and install it. So y'all stay tuned for the install, BRB. All right, so once I have my wig cap on and my hairline is clean, I'm going in with my Even Wonder Lace Bond Spray and spraying that all over my hairline. I did about two coats of this spray. Spray it one coat and let it get like sticky and tacky. Like it takes very, very fast to dry. So, like, so don't wait too long, just spray it. 
let it sit for a little minute like literally maybe not even a minute and then spray the next one and right here i'm just making sure that the wig cap is not like peeling back i don't use lace glue i use lace spray and sometimes lace spray causes the wig cap to like loosen and roll back so i was just making sure that the wig cap wasn't rolling off my head and then now i'm just pulling the lace forward and pressing it into my skin really good and then putting on my melting bed and we're gonna let this thing sit here and melt and while we're letting this melt we're gonna go ahead and get started on the hairstyle and like look at this y'all i was thinking about doing a half up half down and that was gonna be so cute like honestly i might come back and do that to this wig but in this video i didn't but with this lace i could have done that because it's a full 13 by 4 like the whole frontal is full y'all full 13 by 4 so i really could have did that and it would have been so cute right here i'm just taking my cheese silk infusion putting that on this hair getting it real nice and moisturized and silky and then i'm gonna start on these crimps and so what i can say about these crimps is right here in this video y'all see me doing it but i did end up coming back and like kind of fixing my crimps because i think the thing with crimps is if you don't want your crimps to look like very like bulky and like very I don't want to say voluminous, but sometimes crimps can look kind of like bulky. I like my crimps to be like very flat. Like I still want my install to be flat and I want my hair to like, like kind of lay flat. So what I can say with crimps is you should go in like bigger sections. Going in smaller sections like this um, makes the hair like look more bulky because you're going in small sections and the crimps are kind of like laying on top of each other if that makes sense but when I go in bigger sections the crimps just kind of like look more uniform and the install is flatter y'all see what I mean by that um at the end of the video when I show y'all my final hair compared to this like this turned out cute but the crimps were just kind of like bulky and they looked like big the wig looked I don't I don't really know the word I'm searching for but it's a certain way I want my crimps to look and you have to do do them a certain way in like a big section for them to like lay properly. Like y'all see how the sections I'm doing are really small. Um, that's why I, that was a mistake I made. The sections were way too small. So we're just making the wig look like so. The crimps are just laying on top of each other and like kind of like not aligning. They weren't aligning, so it was just kind of making it look like big. Like they were just sitting on top of each other. So I definitely recommend going in big sections when you're doing this. Just make sure that your hair is like already straightened or like blow dry really good so that when you're doing it, they could still be flat. y'all this thing was hurting my arm so bad that's why i was just laying on my hand i'm like i was like i'm tired you have to hold it right there that really will get to your arm and then you got to squeeze the thing too squeeze the crimper and that oh girl that's tiring all right so the crimps are done i'm trying to make sure i like how they look because you know sometimes crimps be a little funny like that right there i don't like how that is like poking out I like it to be flat. This side looks really good, but yeah. Okay, so let's take off this band. Ooh, that was really hard in my ears. All right, so let's get into this lace and these baby hairs. Do I even want to do baby hairs with this? Cause like, this is kind of eating like this. I don't know. And y'all the lace. I think this is a true HD lace because that looks so good. Like, where is it? Literally, where's the lace? Okay, so yeah, y'all see what I was saying about the crimps. Like, they look good, but it just doesn't look like how I wanted it to look. And it wasn't laying down right. It was kind of looking big on the side of my head. So I did end up fixing that. And I just really grabbed bigger sections and then crimped it all at once so that it was all going the same direction. You know, yeah, y'all get what I'm trying to say. So right here i'm just pulling out my baby hairs doing my baby hairs um y'all know how this part goes and then i'm just putting more spray where my lace may have lifted after cutting off the lace and then i went in with my fantasia melting spray on top of my even spray just to help melt the lace into my skin and then went back in with this band again
So once that band sit for a while, I took that off and then just curled my baby hairs with my um, mini flat iron, cut them to the length I wanted to, and then curled them. And y'all, the lace on this wig is just so good. Like, I just couldn't emphasize enough how nice this lace is. This is HD lace, and um, I think with this lace, I really didn't have to put, like, a lot of makeup on it because the lace was already HD, so the melt was just amazing with this lace. Super thin and easy to melt. Like, do y'all see how good this looks right here? Look at the hairline. Look at the lace. Eating. Let's give this hairline a little bit more shape, shall we? And then right here, I'm just kind of giving myself, like, a widow's peak. Because I don't like when the hairline be looking straight across. That gives very much boxy and manly to me. And it gives way. But when I did this little widow's peak, I was like, oh, yeah, this is looking, like, really realistic. Like... Yeah, this is my real hair, and that looks so good. Like, that just really took the install to another level. Like, yes. And then on the parts where the lace may have gotten ashy after cutting it, I just dabbed that with a little bit more makeup. And then here I'm going in with my concealer and just helping to define this part, cover up any knots that may have still been showing. And ugh, it just brings it together. Like, I just love me a good clean install, y'all. I would never get tired of this. And boom, this is how it turned out. And y'all can see like the crimps right here look a little different than the previous clip. I think the crimps right here look a lot more clean. It's laying flatter because all the crimps are like going the same direction and they're not like laying on top of each other. So this is how it turned out. This hair is so bomb, y'all. So soft, true to length, HD lace, full frontal. So I really could have did a deep side part with this. I could have done half up, half down. And best believe I will be doing some more styles with this unit because the lace on here is bomb. I might post another video doing a different style with this unit, but... This turned out so freaking cute, y'all. And this is my little um, outfit, my makeup for a Halloween party I was about to go to. That's why I look so like, I got on a black corset and black eyeliner and stuff because I was about to dress up. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank you, Charmanty Hair, for this wig. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.